More pushback today against the Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Austin City Council is meeting tomorrow to consider a resolution known as the Grace Act, guarding the right to abortion care for everyone, effectively decriminalizing abortion in the city. Joining me now, Austin, Texas City Council member Jose Chito Vela. Good to see you. What are your legal options here? Talk about the Grace Act and how it might provide a legal protection for women seeking abortions. Our legal options are limited because of the the state making abortion illegal. We are a creature of the state. We cannot just legalize abortion, but we are an independent city. We do control our own budget. We do have discretion to set our own policies. So the Grace Act does two things. The first is to set uh, any abortion crime, any alleged abortion crime, as a lowest level priority for a prosecution by uh, the city of Austin, or by, for arrest and investigation by the police department for the city of Austin. And the second is to restrict the use of city funds for any kind of information collecting databases. We don't want to see any kind of abortion databases. We don't want to see any kind of abortion crimes task forces. Uh, so we're doing every that we can. We're trying to kind of walk a very fine line, but we're doing everything that we can within our powers to blunt the criminalization of abortion uh, in Texas. In, in reality, in practice, is what you're saying that you're asking police and prosecutors to look the other way? So right now in Austin, we are about 200 uh, patrol officers short. Uh, we have to set priorities in terms of investigation, uh, in, terms, uh, in terms of, you know, what are the most serious crimes that we need to prioritize. And the reality is that this community just does not think that abortion crimes should be uh, investigated. They don't think that people should be arrested. We think that abortion should be legal uh, in, in Austin. But within that, we're, we're using our discretion. We're prioritizing our local resources in such a way as to, to minimize any kind of arrest or investigation uh, uh, of, uh, of abortion crimes. You're doing what I think a number of cities are trying to do, figure out a way to serve their constituents and what they believe or know that their constituents want. I also saw an article today in the Texas Tribune that quotes uh, a law professor as saying Grace Act is not likely to work as intended. And this is the quote. The difficulty is that clinics won't provide abortion services, even if abortion-related crimes are not investigated or prosecuted locally. The doctors and the facilities are likely to face state licensure and other administrative consequences, even without a criminal prosecution. Does he have a point? He does. And, and I don't want to uh, oversell what we're doing. We cannot create kind of a sanctuary here in Austin where abortion would be legal, where other people from around the state can come and uh, seek to terminate their pregnancy, seek uh, uh, reproductive health options. Uh, but what we can do is we can limit the criminalization and the prosecution. Uh, it's sad that we're at this point where that is our really kind of only and best option, but ultimately we are subject to state law. We are subject to the laws that the Texas legislature makes. And uh, until we we win on, on, a, on a state level, until we can change the laws that currently uh, criminalize abortion, all we can do is kind of play defense and try to, to limit the negative consequences as opposed to really reestablish uh, abortion rights on a, on a broader scale. Cheeto Vela, thank you. And we'll be keeping our eye on that city council meeting tomorrow. We appreciate your time.